pulls on me out of the gun. We're having a bit of machine trouble recently in that, but uh, I hope maybe I've got it sorted out today and uh, if I can win this one, it will put me in the right mood. Also. It's going to be a very hard meeting, but uh, look forward to it, you know. Not in the best of form at the moment, but I uh, hope to alter that a bit tonight. So we come up for heat number one. Each rider has five rides, 20 heats. In this lineup, we have Phil Crump in red, Bruce Penhall in blue, Malcolm Simmons in white, Peter Collins in the striped helmet. And as they go into the first bend, it's the red helmet of Phil Crump of Australian Sprinter who's in the lead, with Peter Collins on the outside going with him. Phil Trump of Australia and Swindon. In second place at the moment, Bruce Penhall edging out Peter Collins, who's way out on the outside. And bringing up the rear at the moment is Malcolm Simmons of England and Poole. But Phil Trump of Australia looking very comfortable out in front. In second place, it's still Peter Collins, but Bruce Penhall, the, the United States rider, coming to into second place. He's holding off Collins and out in front, Phil Trump. Trump still in first place. Bruce Pennell hugging the white line, Peter Collins going rather wide, and now Malcolm Simmons has come through into third place, but out in front there it's still Phil Trump of Australia and Swindon. The Swindon rider looking over his shoulder with one lap to go, and it's Crump, then it's Penhall, then it's Simmons, and then it's Collins. Phil Crump now looking as though he's got the first three points. Three points for a win, two for second place, one for third place. The last rider doesn't score. And so it's three for Crump, two for Penhall, and one for Simmons. Collins doesn't score. This is heat number two. Gordon Kennett in red, John Louis in blue, Edward Yankarts in white, and Ole Olsen, the world champion, on the outside in the striped helmet. Bain to lead almost immediately, John Louis of England and Ipswich. But the red helmet of Gordon Kennett of England and Eastbourne Eagles holding him off. Louis on the outside. In second place at the moment is Gordon Kennett. Olsen is at the back. Olsen is looking as though he's in trouble, but still it's John Louis. In second place it's Gordon Kennett. In third place it's Edward Yankarts of Poland and Wimbledon, who should know this track pretty well. Still John Louis. In third place, Edward Yankart, and Ole Olsen is not having any luck at all. And look at that battle for second place. John Louis out in front, but Kennett and Yankart are really fighting for that second place. One more lap to go, and still John Louis of England and Ipswich out in front. Number six in second place, Edward Yankart. Gordon Kennett of England and Eastbourne Eagles has gone back into third place. And still they're batting it out for that second place. John Louis holding them off. Coming up to the line now. Louis gets three points. Yankart gets two. Kennett gets one. Michael Lee, the British champion, coming up for heat number three in the red helmet. In the white helmet, we've got John Davis, a man who has uh, caused a certain amount of controversy by being dropped on the England team. On the inside, then, in the red helmet, it's Michael Lee. In blue, it's Hans Nielsen. In white, it's John Davis. In, in yellow, it's Kai Naimi. And out in front, then, Michael Lee is really establishing quite a lead. Kai Naimi of Finland and Eastbourne Eagles in the striped helmet in second place. In third place at this moment, it's John Davis. Davis who's looking for a really good result, but not going well at this moment. Michael Lee looking absolutely invincible. He is really riding beautifully. In second place, Naimi. And in third place, still John Davis. In fourth place, Hans Nielsen of Denmark and Wolverhampton. One more lap to go, and still Michael Lee not being pushed at all. One more bend to go as they come up the back straight, and it's still Michael Lee. In first place, in second place, Kainami, and in third place, it's John Davis. That's three points for Michael Lee. It's two points for Naimi, and one point for Davis. This is heat number five. John Davis having his second ride in the yellow helmet, Gordon Kennett in white, Phil Crump in blue, and Jan Anderson in red. And John Davis has come from the outside beautifully to take the lead after that first bend. In second place at the moment, Phil Crump, the Australian. On the outside, Gordon Kennett with the white helmet. But still it's John Davis in the striped helmet, the yellow and black who's in the lead. In the white line, you've got in blue, Phil Trump of Australia and Swindon. And on the outside, Gordon Kennett of Eastbourne Eagles looking for a place to come round. And he has now. John Davis in front. But can he hold off Gordon Kennett? Gordon Kennett is closing on the inside there. Beautiful riding by John Davis. Just managing to hold off Gordon Kennett. In third place, it's Phil Trump. In fourth place, it's Jan Anderson. 
one more left to go and still John Davis is holding off Gordon Kenneth still club in third place Kenneth is really coming at him but he's not making any inroads Ken Davis holding off on this last bend he's going around the long way Davis takes the short way gets three points Kenneth gets two points and Phil Trump gets one good riding by Davis heat number six in the blue helmet, we've got Michael Lee, already scored three points. Dave Jessup in red, Michael Lee in blue, Bruce Pennell in white, and Edward Yankard's in yellow. It's Dave Jessup closest to us on the inside, but Michael Lee coming through in the blue helmet has gone through into the lead almost immediately. Number 10, Michael Lee in the lead. Number six, Edward Yankard's, the pole is in second place. These two are having a real battle. Remember that uh, Yankard has already got two points. Lee has got three, Bruce Pennell's got two points, so they're looking for more points now as Michael Lee seems to have this uh, heat pretty well set up. He seems to have all the power he needs just to keep ahead and do just that little bit extra when it's required. In second place, it's Edward Yankard. In third place at the moment, it's Dave Jessup. And in fourth place, Bruce Pennell. So, with one more left to go, it's still Michael Lee. He's really riding well. In second place, it's Edward Yankertz. And in third place is Dave Jessup. Into the final bend now. And Michael Lee looking as though he's going to make it a maximum again. That's his second maximum. Three points for Lee, two points for Yankertz, and one for Dave Jessup. Michael Lee in great form. Heat number eight. Peter Collins in red. Ole Olsen in blue. Ty Neamey in white. And Billy Sanders of Australia and Birmingham in yellow. And so far the world champion Ole Olsen has yet to score. Olsen out in front at this moment and looking as though he's got himself going now. Olsen of Denmark and Coventry out in front. Number eight. But he had a look down at his motor and is he really satisfied? He's still out in front there. In second place is Billy Saunders and in third place is Peter Collins. Olsen doesn't really look absolutely happy. He's way out in front, but uh, he's not showing the absolute power in that bike that we've seen from him in the past. Olsen out in front. In second place, it's uh, Billy Sanders, and in third place, it's Peter Collins. And coming through on the inside now, it's Billy Sanders. Sanders takes the lead, and only Olsen has dropped back to third place. It's Peter Collins who's gone through into second place. Billy Sanders will score three points. Peter Collins, two points. Kai near me will get one. Only Olsen doesn't score again. So after eight races, five riders on four points. Billy Sanders on five. Michael Lee on six points. The British champion, two rides, maximum points. Uh, well, so far, so good. But early days yet, you know, anything can happen at this stage. Bike running well? Yeah, really flying at the moment. Uh, if they can keep going like it, then I should be in with a chance. As I say, early days yet. Heat number nine. And coming up to the nine in the blue helmet, Billy Sanders of Australia and Birmingham. So we've got Edward Yankertz in red, Sanders in blue, in white we've got Phil Crump, and in yellow Hans Nielsen. Top scorer is Billy Sanders with five points on his uh, two rides. At this moment they're out in front, it's Hans Nielsen. Dane riding for Wolverhampton with the striped helmet. So Nielsen out in front, number 11. In second place, it's Edward Jankard of Poland and Wimbledon. And in third place at this moment, it's Phil Crump, Australia and Swindon. And Hans Nielsen looking very good indeed, setting the pace right from the gate. Jankard's coming at him. Jankard, who's always been in contention and riding on his home track. But still, Hans Nielsen of Denmark holding off the pole. It's Nielsen, it's Jankards, it's Trump in third place, and Sanders in fourth place. Doesn't look as though he's going to score in this heat. And so it's three points for Nielsen, two for Jankards, one for Krump. Good win for Nielsen. Heat number 10, Kai Niemi in red, Gordon Kennedy in blue, Larry Ross in white, and Bruce Penhall in yellow. Penhall on the left of the picture, Niemi on the right. And Penhall coming from the outside. 
establishing a very early lead. The American goes through into the lead. In second place, it's near me. And in third place, it's Larry Ross. And the American, who rides for Crazy Heath, has lost his helmet cover, so it looks he's got the white top now. There are two white top fighters, but uh, Bruce Penhall has lost his yellow and black helmet cover, and he is in the lead. There's Bruce Penhall in the lead. In second place, it's Kai Niemi. In third place, it's Larry Ross. Two Eastbourne Eagles riders in this event. Kai Niemi and Gordon Kennett. But Bruce Penhall has led from the gate and is still way out in front. That's Penhall. One lap to go. Penhall in first place. Niemi in second place. In third place is Larry Ross, the only New Zealander in the competition from Wimbledon Dons. And Gordon Kennett is in fourth place. But Ross is falling back as Bruce Penhall comes through to score three points. Second place near me gets two, Kennett gets one, Larry Ross doesn't score. Heat number 11, Ole Olsen who has yet to score is in the red helmet closest to us. Then it's John Davis in blue, then Malcolm Simmons in white, then Dave Jessup on the far side in yellow. And Ole Olsen is really looking for these points. John Davis has got him for the lead. Number nine, John Davis in the blue helmet. On the outside now, in second place, in the white helmet is Malcolm Simmons, and in third place, it's Ole Olsen. Olsen is still not producing that power. Good riding by John Davis, who dropped that one, two points in his first race, but he's scored now a total of four, and he's looking good. John Davis, the Reading Racers rider, way, way out in front. In second place, Malcolm Simmons. And in third place, it's Dave Jessup. Jessup still being challenged by Olsen, but Olsen is showing none of the form that we know he can produce. Still out in front there, it's John Davis. In second place, it's Malcolm Simmons. And in third place, Dave Jessup. John Davis looking very good for three points. He has now got a total of seven. Malcolm Simmons gets two, Dave Jessup gets one, and Ole Olsen has yet to score. Michael Lee on a maximum so far in the white helmet. Jen Anderson in red, Peter Collins in blue. White is Michael Lee, yellow is John Lewis. And out of that gate comes Michael Lee like a flash. Maximum from his first two rides, six points. And he's already established a very healthy lead over Jan Anderson in second place. In third place, it's John Louis. But Michael Lee is looking absolutely untroubled. He's having a great night. In second place, Jan Anderson, the Swede who rides for Reading. In third place at this moment, it's still John Louis of Ipswich. And in fourth place, Peter Collins. Collins not having a very good night. The former world champions only scored two points so far. And uh, Ole Olsen, the present world champion, has yet to score. So it's Michael Lee, still way out in front. One lap to go. Michael Lee in first place. In second place, it's Jan Anderson. In third place, now it's Peter Collins. In fourth place, it's John Louis. Three points for Michael Lee, two points for Anderson, one point for Peter Collins. So after 12 races, Michael Lee has nine points. John Davis has seven, Edward Gankarts and Malcolm Simmons have six. Ole Olsen, well his bike's not going good. Malcolm Simmons, who's the man to watch? Michael Lee, maximum points so far. How does it compare with last year? You know, I just dropped that old point. Uh, I had a bad first ride, but uh, obviously I'm a bit more determined this year. And uh, I'd like to go right through the card unbeaten if possible, but uh, two more to go before that happens. It really seems to be about right, you know. But, uh, looks like Michael's going to be the one to beat tonight at the moment. But it's not over yet. I've got two races, you know, and I've still got a meeting, so... Maybe I can beat it, who knows? I've got a bit of trouble with the Macabretus, you know. It keeps doing about a lap and then it starts cutting out. And um, in my first race, you know, it was very bad. It was misfiring. And then um, I went in and I took the other bike. And uh, I thought I got away with it. I had quite a good run. Then uh, on the third lap, all of a sudden it cut totally out. And uh, I thought, you know, something was the mag or something. But it was the carburetor again, I think. So, um, you know, I just had to hang about there and I ended up last, you know, leading that race.
the second half of the meeting. And heat number 14 in the white helmet is Ole Olsen. We'll have to see whether he's managed to do something to that motor during the interval. The full lineup, Bruce Pennell is in red, Anderson is in blue, Olsen is in white, Hans Nielsen is in yellow. And Jan Anderson, a little too anxious and lucky he didn't break the tapes. Inside in red, coming out fast, and also hands Nielsen. Nielsen going fast as well. Nielsen in second place, and Nielsen has spun around. Nielsen lost control and looks as though he stalled his motor. Meanwhile, the other three riders are still going ahead. Bruce Penhall, Jan Anderson, and Ole Olsen. Olsen in second place. They're still riding, but away in the corner of the track, Nielsen still has the bike. Nielsen excluded for the rerun now of this event with Bruce Penhall in red. Olsen in white and Anderson in blue. And this time it's Bruce Pennell holding off. Only Olsen in white and Wilson looks as though he's got his bike in shape. He's coming down the outside very fast. Olsen now taking the lead. Olsen out in front. In second place it's Pennell. In third place it's Anderson. And this is the only Olsen we know. Olsen is really streaking ahead now. So far he hasn't scored in this meeting. But now look at the Dane go. Olsen in first place. Bruce Pennell in second place. Jan Anderson in third place. And Olsen is really flying. One more lap to go. And Olsen looking like the world champion that he is. Out in front there. In second place, it's Penhall, and in third place, it's Anderson. Olsen is going to pick up his first points of the night. It's going to be three points for Olsen, two points for Penhall, and one point for Anderson. So Olsen now has three, and Penhall has seven. Coming up now for heat number 15, in the white helmet, the unbeaten Michael Lee. Three rides, nine points. Michael Lee facing Malcolm Simmons in blue. Malcolm Simmons has scored six points. On the inside, Billy Sanders. On the far side, Gordon Kennett in the striped helmet. But once again, Michael Lee has taken the lead. Right from the gate, number 10, Michael Lee is looking absolutely invincible. On the outside, in the striped helmet, Gordon Kennett. In the blue helmet, Malcolm Simmons. Billy Saunders in the red helmet is trailing. Michael Lee. Number five is Gordon Kennett. Number three is Malcolm Simmons. And it looks to me as though that's the way it's going to be. The rider who overtakes Michael Lee tonight will be quite a rider. Michael Lee of England and Kings Lynn out in front there. The British champion looking absolutely superb. So Michael Lee comes up, looks over his shoulder. In second place, it's Gordon Kennett. In third place, it's Malcolm Simmons and Billy Sanders is still bringing up the rear. Michael Lee looking as though he's going to get another three points. He does. Gordon Kenner gets two, Malcolm Simmons gets one, so Lee is still on a maximum of 12 points. Heat 16 and John Davis lying second overall at this moment with seven points in the red helmet. Edward Yankarts lying third overall in the blue helmet with six points. Peter Collins in white and Larry Ross in yellow. Gating there by John Davis who goes into the lead. In second place it's Jen Cuts. And in third place at the moment is Larry Ross. Peter Collins has dropped right back. Larry Ross fighting out for second place with Edward Yankarts. But John Davis out in front. Davis looking good in this heat number 16. This is his fourth ride. And he looks to be set for a maximum on this one. In the blue helmet, Edward Jenkins. Also looking for every point he can get. Larry Ross. In third place, Peter Collins. A very disappointing evening. Only scored three points so far. But still John Davis out in front. And John Davis has only dropped two points. That was in his first ride of the night. Looking as though he's going to get another three. 
John Davis in first place. In second place, it's Shen Kun. And in third place, it's Larry Ross. Coming into the last bend now, Davis will score three points. Shen two, and Larry Ross one. So, after 16 races, Michael Lee has 12 points, John Davis has 10, Edward Yankard has 8. Coming up for heat number 17, Michael Lee in the striped helmet here on his last ride and looking for a maximum overall. He has 12 out of a possible 12 and one more ride to go. But he's faced in the blue helmet with Ole Olsen, who really came to life in his last ride and scored a maximum of three points. Phil Trump is in red, Olsen is in blue, Ross is in white, Michael Lee is in yellow. Lee comes through on the outside. Number eight is Ole Olsen, and Ole Olsen is holding on to that uh, edge of the track. Michael Lee out in front. In second place is Olsen, in third place it's Ross, in fourth place it's Crump. And still Lee is out there. But Olsen is looking much more comfortable. This really is a tracking race. Lee out in front, looking for the maximum points. Olsen, who got a maximum on his last ride, is not letting him get away. In third place it's Larry Ross, in fourth place it's Phil Crump. But it's still these two. And which one is going to take the maximum? Michael Lee is out in front. Olsen still in second place. Larry Ross in third place. And Olsen is slowly breaking it down. Olsen coming in very close. Olsen taking this bend very close indeed. Olsen coming through. And it's only Olsen who's going to get three points. Lee gets two. And Larry Ross gets one. A first defeat for Michael Lee. The man who beat him gets three points. Heat number 18, John Davis was lying overall second in red. In blue, we got Bruce Pennell. In white, we got John Bowie. And in yellow, Benny Saunders. And the red helmet of John Davis on the outside of the track there, just ahead of Bruce Pennell. Davis ahead. In third place at the moment, it's Saunders. And in fourth place, it's John Bowie. Davis, once again, is looking good. Pennell hugging the white line and almost losing control. That left. Billy Saunders come up on him, but still it's John Davis out in front. Davis, Pennell, Saunders, Dewey. And John Davis now has really established an almost unbeatable lead. There's a quick look. One left to go. John Davis out in front. Pennell in second place. In third place, Billy Saunders, John Louis in fourth place. And so, it's going to be three points for Davis. Two for Pennell, one for Saunders. That's a total of 13 points for John Davis. Heat number 19 and Edward Jankarts in the striped helmet needs a maximum to make sure of coming third. Malcolm Simmons is red. Kai Niemi is blue. Roger Johns, a reserve, has come in as white. In place of Jan Anderson, and Edward Jankarts is in yellow. And Jankarts out in front. In second place, it's Simmons. And in third place, at this moment, it's Roger Johns, a reserve. Simmons in second place, and in third place, Johns, but way out in front there, it's Edward Jankarts, who's looking for those three points to make sure he gets on the winner's rostrum. That's Jankarts the pole, who rides the Wimbledon Dons, number six, out in front. Simmons in second place. In third place, it's Johns. In fourth place, it's Niemi. And Jankarts is absolutely flying. One more lap to go, and Edward Jankarts looking for those three points. And there's a great battle going on for second place. Roger Johns has overtaken Malcolm Simmons. Johns in the white helmet, Simmons in the red. And Johns is going to get two points. Jankarts gets three, Simmons gets one. Jankarts finishes third overall. Uh, the winner is Michael Lee. Did he have trouble in his last ride with Olsen? Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a misfire and I started tightening up on the last two laps and I just managed to coach at home really. So I was a bit lucky.
John Davis must have regretted dropping points in his first race against Lee. Yeah, it is really, you know, I think Michael was a bit lucky. But, uh, you know, Kai Nimi was mucking about, he had trouble with his clutch, and um, we were all sitting there with the motors going, and our clutches got hot, and mine started sweating. You know, the others were probably a bit luckier than I was. And so the final result, Michael Lee the winner with 14 points and £1,000. John Davis second with 13 points, Edward Jankard third with 11. 70.